Okay, these are going to be the three color combinations that we use. This is going to be kind of close to her base color that we're going to put on for a base. There'll be some highlights that have this tone and some low lights in here. And we're going to use the Amazing Highlights tool and we're going to use two different tools, one for the highlights and one for the low lights. But we're going to do our base color first. I already have her colors mixed up, so we're going to apply our base and then highlighting and low lighting after her base color is on. Okay, we now have the all over color on. We're going to come back in and do some highlighting. I'm going to come back in with my highlighting comb and I'm going to just weave the hair out like I normally would. And I'm going to start up underneath here. We're going to use some of the darker and work, uh, incorporate more of the lighter highlights as I get a little bit uh, further on top. Uh, today I'm not using bleach at all. I'm using a light ash 30 volume for my highlighting. And... Um, and then the low light pieces that I showed you a few minutes ago. And so, come right in. I'm going to start the low lighting. And there's been some feedback, which I'm very grateful for, of people wondering about the cross-contamination. And I'm going to do my best today to show you that when you're using this, you're not going to have that problem because of the way that these uh, compression plates infuse the color into the hair. So these first two sections I'm doing, simply coming back in and depositing the low lights in. And we will do the same thing on this side here. Come straight up. You can see where I just brush this right into the compression plates. I don't have a lot of excess material on. Just enough for the strand that I want to highlight. You want to be sure that you really get this evenly all the way down the hair shaft, even if you have to come back and add just a little bit more as you push as you pull this through. What nice contrast. This tool is really as easy as one, two, three. One being you want to come in and load the tool. Until you just pick up the hair. And three, you just pull it straight through. And I'm going to show you here in just a minute how well 
this works uh, and not cross contaminating. This hair is not going to be affected at all. And in just a couple of minutes after I get these highlights in and the lowlights in, we'll go. I'm going to go back and we're going to lift some of this hair up to show you that it's not it's not cross contaminating because it's pressed on both sides of the hair. Very similar to the um, balayage technique. fall just like that let the tool and let it fall but if you don't really want to um, hold the tool you can just leave it in the stand to load it I'm kind of doing a combination of that I'm kind of loading it some of it in the stand and some of it when I'm holding it this technique really does some nice soft highlights So now while I'm holding this piece, I'll have a tendency to hold the tool in my hand instead of having it in the tray to load it. Right here. Just let that drop just like that. Three color combination on this is really pretty. Now because we're not using foil or papers, you want to be sure that you're doing this away from the face so this color's not on her skin. Always away from the face. Let it fall just like that. And just like you would use on the paddles, you know that there's a little less product underneath and a lot more product on top. This is what keeps this from spotting and sticking to the other hair. I'm going to come back through here and lift up a couple of these pieces that we did earlier. And as you can see, see how this hair is really loose? It's not pressed in with this other hair here. It's its, its own piece because there's color on both sides. There's more color on the top, there's less color underneath, but it keeps this from sticking to the other hair in a couple of different places. I'm just going to kind of it randomly go through and show you again, even underneath where we've laid all this hair on top, I'm going to take this one piece right here out, and you can see that it is independent from the other hair. You know, some little flyways around it, but there's nothing else into it. It's its own piece. So that's what's very unique about the way that this tool pinches and infuses the color as you pull the tool through it infuses so it leaves just enough color on without um, actually taking your brush and just trying to drag this through when you drag it through sometimes it can look spotty because it's not pressed into the rest of the hair so that's one of the benefits of the amazing highlights tool plus you know this was fast this only took about you know 15 minutes to do the whole head and uh, I'll let you take a look at this. So she's going to process for about 15 minutes at room temperature, no heat. If you did want a little bit more lift and you wanted to put a little bit of heat on, I highly recommend that you um, maybe real lightly, because again, you don't want to press this color into the other hair, but you can use something like a light bag or something just to real lightly lay on top, and then you could put her underneath the dryer if you wanted to do something like that. But other than that, I like processing these at room temperature. It does a more natural look. And we'll take a look at this uh, once she's shampooed and blown out. Let's take a look at this as I sw sweep the hair up. And you'll see how we put a lot more of those low lights in underneath for her depth. And then 
you can see we went a little lighter on the top. And uh, when you use the Amazing Highlights tool the way that I just demonstrated, you're going to get a very soft, natural look. If you're looking for more contrast, I would, if you wanted to see more contrast than you're seeing right now with what I have here, I would have recommended to going one full color level darker to give her a little bit more contrast. Just in the streaks, because even through here as I'm combing this through, you can still see real nice where the depth and the contrast from the highlights to the low lights came in, but it's still soft. It's really a very natural and beautiful look. Okay, now we're finished. Get a chance to look at this all the way around. You can see where she's got really nice highlights across the crown, on the sides. And at the same time, if I just lift this hair up in the back, she still has all that nice richness underneath because we put a lot more of the low lights underneath and uh, came out really pretty.